What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to edit templates in After Effects. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So for this tutorial, the template I'll be using is from Silk Motion Designer, a link to this video will be in the description and you can also download his template, the one I'll be showing you. Now when you download a template, most of the time it's going to come in a zipped folder. With that being said, you're going to need WinZip or WinRAR to extract it. For me, I use WinRAR and I right click and select extract here. Both are free so you don't need to worry about paying for anything. Now a good thing about Silk when he does templates, as you can see it says how to customize. So if you open this up of course it tells you how to customize it but I won't follow that guide for now because I want to be showing you myself how to customize templates. So once you've extracted it you're going to see a pre-rendered version, you're going to see the After Effects file and the music itself. So you're going to open up the After Effects file. Now when I've opened this project, this is the first thing I get, this project must be converted from version 11. So I'm going to select OK and it's going to convert, but you also get this error. Now it's not really an error because it's just a type of text you're missing. As you can see we are missing basic title font and the font style is regular. So the way we fix this, we need to download that font and it's very simple. So I'm on Google and I'm going to type in basic title font regular and that's what we want. As you can see the font have it right there, a very trusted website for fonts and all we have to do is select download, I'm going to download it here, just open the zip file Then, as you can see it's right here just double click it and select install and we can X out of this. So we're back in After Effects, we're still going to have this, just select OK. And as you can see it also says 28 files are missing since you last saved this project. This does not matter most of the time because the person who uploaded the template should already put the files you needed. So for example as you can see it says 28 files are missing, but if I select OK, this template is still going to be working just fine like that. So the first way, as you can see his one says logo here. But you can also put text, so I'm going to be showing you how to first edit the text. So we're going to be on comp1 for this, and as you can see it says logo here, and that is text uh, separated. So we can double click the logo, and we can now put what we want to. So I'll put casual, and then where it says here, I'm going to put savage. And then we're going to come to the move tool at the top left, or selection tool, and I'm going to use the arrow keys to position this, and I'm going to try my best to center it and same for casual as well, just like that. So now if I play this through, just like that we have edited the text. But the first thing that was there, it said logo here. How do we add the logo? Well the first thing you need to do is come to file, import and then file. Now I'm going to be importing my logo make sure it is saved as a PNG. So this is my logo as a PNG, which means there's no background. All I'm going to do is drag and drop this above the text right here. I'm just going to shorten it down by trimming the ends and I'm going to make it in position right where this is as well. And then I'm going to cut it off at the exact same point as the text right there. Now we've still got our text and the logo is massive. So select it from here and just size it down from the corners, just like this. And now of course we can still see our text, so to get rid of that there is an eyeball on that layer and just uncheck them and it removes them. Alternatively if you don't really need the text or you're never going to use it, just left click one of them, hold control and left click the other one and press delete and it completely removes it from this file. Now if I play this through, our logo will, or my logo will appear instead of the text. As you can see, just like that, it is done. Now how do we edit the colors throughout this? Now with Silk, he's made this very simple. I think it's the only person or the only template I've downloaded where they've made it so simple. And if I head over to element settings, this composition here and double click it, it'll open this up. Now don't worry, your composition is still here. This is going to allow us to edit the colors. So as you can see, main color, I'm going to select the drop down menu, I'm going to come to effects and then color. And from here, it says the color. We select this and I'm going to pick a red and I'm going to select OK. Then I'm going to minimize this and we'll change the background color. Again, drop down menu, then the effects drop down menu, BG color, change the color to what we want to. So I'm going to go with a gray for this and select OK. 
And the next thing we have shadow. So shadow one and again, just follow the exact same steps and you get the idea of this part here. So now if we come back to comp one, remember we're looking for red, gray and light blue. As you can see straight away, it has been changed. So you don't need to do anything else. It's changed just like that. Even this part here. And then of course you can actually customize these colors as well. You just pick through, select them, and then you can simply edit the colors right from here. That is how you edit templates in After Effects. If you want to learn about rendering, you can also check out my video in the description. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.